Hi guys, this is Tanya from Star for Brooklyn, and I'm back again with a little video clip about how to develop a plan or have a plan of action during this coronavirus uh, pandemic. Okay, guys, so simply developing a plan includes three things. It includes first having a conversation with your doctor. Um, everyone's health is different. Um, we all have different issues. Um, and we need to reach out, uh, leave a message, communicate with someone in your primary health uh, care office um, about what it is that you should be thinking about doing to manage your health. Um, at that particular time, this is when you want to get information about your medications, uh, how to get your medications, maybe request you know, a three month refill, talk about delivery of medication, et cetera. Um, I would also at this point talk to your doctor about like, what do I do if I get sick? Uh, who should I call when I get sick? Where should I go when I get sick? Um, this is really important. Your doctor is the main person that you should be checking in with because of course we all have different health issues. I have asthma serious asthma. I didn't quite realize my asthma was so serious. And so I've been having conversations with my doctor about what I need to do because I'm actually very vulnerable um, because I have a very sensitive respiratory infection uh, system. The second thing that you need to do is you need to figure out how to stay connected to people. You might live, wait a second, let me back up. If you don't have a provider, this is an important message. If you don't have a provider, you need to figure out where you can go to get information. If you've recently been seen somewhere, um, an urgent care place, I don't know if they're taking messages over the phone, if there was a doctor or space or place that you went to in the past, um, if someone in your family is linked to health, uh, has a provider, you need to think about trying to talk to their doctors or trying to see if you can use their information in terms of trying to figure out um, what to do. Um, it's a little too late to go out and to go see a doctor. Um, I think that um, maybe hopefully these urgent care centers will be setting up virtual triage where they can talk to people and talk to people about how to manage their health and well-being uh, virtually. Okay, so that's for the people who have a doctor and for the people who don't have a doctor. Second thing to do is to figure out how to stay in touch with people. So some of us live with people, some of us live by ourselves. And everyone needs to have a plan in terms of like how to stay in touch with people. And if you are an older person or person at risk, you need to figure out like a plan so that people can check in or you can check in with people every day or every other day, okay? And make sure that it's really clear. Like, if you don't hear from me in three minutes, uh, or excuse me, three minutes, uh, in three days, you know, this is my neighbor's number and call my neighbor. Um, and, you know, most of us need to really think about using our phone, think about calling people. Maybe you know how to, you know, get an app to be able to do social media, to figure out a way that you can maybe find an app to communicate with your doctors, um, other people. Uh, you, uh, maybe, you know, set up an app so that you can manage your money and make purchases out of the house. These are the things that you need to figure out. And maybe, you know, connecting with other people will help you be able to do that. And the third thing that you need to do is you need to figure out, like, who's going to take care of you when you get sick, if you get sick. And, you know, that's got to be, uh, you know, a conversation that you have with close people around you, whether it's a neighbor, whether it's a loved one who lives with you, uh, to agree that you're gonna help take care of each other and what does that entail? Um, and you know, if you do get sick, you also need to think about how to protect other folks who are in your living environment who are not sick. In terms of social distancing in the house, maybe keeping that person who's not feeling well in their room, bringing stuff to them, only one person, really making sure that you protect the whole family uh, or household if you've got a whole bunch of roommates and covering, wearing a mask, et cetera. Um, 
Absolutely, you need to think about stocking up on stuff. I know everyone's gone out and bought way too much toilet tissue. I don't know why. But, you know, um, with that conversation with your doctor about like the essential things that you need to manage your health, whether it's, you know, uh, stuff to test your blood sugar or whatever it is, you need to make sure that you have enough supplies, uh, have enough like over the counter stuff for, uh, you know, flu, colds, tissues, et cetera. Um, um, and, uh, uh, and also to make sure that you have enough household items, uh, groceries, paper towels, uh, stuff to clean with, uh, eggs or whatever, you know, communicate with your neighbors. Maybe one person could sort of go to the, the neighborhood store and pick up, you know, uh, little things for everybody and just sort of drop them off. And then you could send them some money electronically for buying me some eggs and milk. And again, this is uh, what to do when you get sick, if you get sick. First thing is that you need to stay at home. There are a lot of symptoms and most of them are really minor symptoms like sneezing, a runny nose, a cough, a sore throat. Do not go to the emergency room if you have these minor symptoms. You have to assume you have the coronavirus. And the first thing that everybody needs to do is stay home. You stay home, monitor your symptoms. If you feel like your symptoms are serious, and this is a conversation you will have with your doctor to determine if they are serious or not, then you will, your doctor will give you instructions about where to go. But when you get sick, you stay home. You notify your doctor, do not, go to the emergency room. Do not go to urgent care. Stay at home. Avoid public places if you're sick. Avoid public transportation. If you need medical assistance, like you need help getting to the hospital, you call 911, but please do like call ahead, make sure that they know that you're coming, wear a mask or to cover your mouth to protect you, uh, the people who are coming to help you, healthcare workers, uh, a scarf, whatever. It, it's, it would be so awesome to do that because our healthcare workers need to stay healthy to help keep our system going. Um, and let the dispatch know also when you call 911 that you suspect that you have COVID-19. So this is, our NYC coronavirus, it's actually not ours, excuse me, this is New York City's uh, coronavirus hotline. It's 1-888-364-3065. That's 1-888-364-3065. You can call and get more information about what's going on, about resources uh, and help in your specific community. Um, again, uh, we are, Star for Brooklyn is part of the Star Clinic at SUNY Downstate Medical Center. We started this, this TV show to promote health and well-being in our community here in Brooklyn. But under this particular circumstance, we're trying to really leverage this uh, platform to reach and try to help people to stay healthy and safe during this coronavirus pandemic. So signing out, please stay safe and develop a plan. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.